Hello, it's me. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It is Holy Wednesday or Wednesday of Holy Week, which some also call Spy Wednesday. And really, yeah, that's a neat title given the drama of this week, the drama uh, surrounding our Lord as we enter the most sacred days, the three days of Easter, the Triduum. Well, and we begin this Holy Week, a week that is marked with the welcome, welcoming the Lord into Jerusalem, but then is marked with betrayal, and then suffering, and death, and ultimately resurrection. And that's what we look forward to. But He went through it all for our sake. And uh, even, you know, even now, I think in our own lives, and I think that's w what perhaps Lent reminded us all, the fact that we welcome him, but again and again sometimes we ambush him. We, you know, talk of Spy Wednesday, what uh, Judas did. As much as we are with him, uh, we walk with him, but still we, we fall, you know, through our uh, temptation and sin. But he remains faithful and he continues to call us. And so the question today for me, for myself and for really for all of us as we come to the end of Lent, we could say really this is the last day of Lent and tomorrow on Holy Thursday we begin the sacred triduum, the sacred three days of Easter. But when you think of it, towards the end of Lent, coming to the end of Lent, how was your Lent? Again, my running thought was be like God holy, uh, perfect, just like our Heavenly Father is perfect. And all the time I've said that perfection is not necessarily how we see perfection, you know, that, you know, perfection as pure, just perfect. It's more a perfection that reminds us of a God who, who is co complete and total, uh, a, a perfection that is related to a God who loves us, even when we are struggling, when we are sinning, and when we are good. A God who loves us when we are just and unjust. But still, there, there will be a time of judgment. But for now, this God just gives love. And when we respond, when we open ourselves to it, we are forgiven. And that is, that is what Lent uh, should have brought us to. To walk through Lent, to see where we are, how we relate to this God, and see. Uh, you know, respond to that capacity, capacity to be like God. So how was your Lent and how are you walking? I would say at this point, as we end, continue through this Holy Week, as we enter the Sacred Triduum, just walk with the Lord. Uh, listen, uh, go to, these, uh, to the sacred services, the, sac you know, the, the Mass tomorrow, Mass of the Lord's Supper, the Good Friday service. And of course, then we have the Easter, tweet, uh, the Easter Vigil and then Easter Sunday itself. Walk with the Lord through this. We are invited to think of what he went through for our sake. Uh, all the suffering, uh, the, the, the death, but then the glory of resurrection. And you know, at the glory of resurrection, as much as we go through all this Lent and this freedom, that's where we are. We are who we are as children of God because of that glory of the resurrection, because of what, what God did for us in Jesus Christ, raising him from the dead. We too hope for that resurrection. But before we get there, we have this life to live. And as we live this life, the drama of this week can be real in our lives. Like I said, we welcome him. We, we are friends of his in so many ways, but yet we also betray him in many ways. But he does not give up on us. And we are invited not to be disappointed, not to, not to, you know, not to cry and just remain in our sinfulness, but to rise up with him, to go to him for healing, for, for, for forgiveness, so that he can help us to remain what he has made us through baptism, children of God. And so, enjoy this Holy Week. Celebrate the sacred days of the Lord, the sacred days of Easter, the Triduum, and uh, relive the, the, the joy that comes from Easter, the resurrection, the glory of God, a, a light in our world, in our hearts, and ultimately love because you are loved. Amen.